you guys I'm keeping a secret from you guys and you guys will know the secret as soon as you guys see this video but this video will come out after I've already made my decision so yeah I booked a plane ticket to Boston I'm going there for three days don't worry I'm not moving back and don't worry I'm not getting back with Dean I'm not even going to see Dean so all right, now that that's out the way, I'm going to visit Auntie's babies and a few other people. And not everybody knows I'm coming back to Boston, so I have no worries. But I've kind of had to learn how to do things before telling people because then people put their opinions in places where I, I am the type of people person where I struggle with people's opinions. So I've had to learn how to uh, do things because I remember one time, ready? One time, God had me go and quit college. If you guys remember that, God had me quit college. He told me that he wanted to give me a son, which is no longer possible because literally I've gained weight over the past few weeks. And as soon as I hit 190 pounds, my neuropathy comes back and I start getting sick with my diabetes. So if I got pregnant and gained a little bit of weight, I'm getting my diabetes back and I'm going to be dangerously sick and it's going to be unhealthy for me and a baby. So the fact that God promised me a child is like physically not possible unless I get someone to carry my child for me so I can survive through, you know, but like giving someone my egg to um, carry my child and all that stuff you know other than that it's not possible physically f throughout my own body um but I digress so yeah so a long time ago God told me he was gonna give me a son my son's name was supposed to be Israel Justice and he flew me all the way to California and he sat me there and I said why am I here God he said I want to give you a child and he said but I know that you're gonna listen to everybody else and everybody else's opinion but he said to me, do you want this for yourself? Wow. Do you want this for yourself, Jasmine? And I sat there at the table and I said, yes, God, I do. But he's like, I said, so why did you bring me into California to tell me this? Because you're going to listen to everybody else's opinions. And you're going to let everybody else's opinions sway your, de your decisions. That I'm asking you, do you want this for yourself? And I was like, dag. So... You know, sometimes you have to make decisions for yourself and kind of keep them hidden from people until you've made the decision for yourself because people don't always want what you want for yourself, you know? So everyone knows I'm going on a trip, but only the people who know I'm coming to Boston are the people who I told her I'm coming to Boston. So, but you guys will know afterwards and you know, um, but no one's gonna sway me out of my decision. And there's a reasoning behind it and why I'm going to Boston. Um, and it has nothing to do with the yet again. I'm gonna keep putting it there. Let me let let me tell y'all it has nothing to do with the nine. Zero point zero. There's zero point zero percent. Anything to do with the 100% it has to do with everything else, not D. <laughs> For other reasonings. I'm um, so yeah, I'm going up there or whatever um, to see a few of my friends. So that is um, what I'm doing. And and then I have like a few Christmas gifts and whatever for Auntie's babies and all that other stuff. So that should be good because I've been getting all the couponing sales and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm making this choice for myself. And um, but yeah, I just wanted to explain that to you guys because some of us you know we we make decisions for ourselves in life and we go ahead and we tell other people and then we're like looking searching for their opinion like um is this a good idea is this a bad idea what, what should i do and we miss out on opportunities because we're caring about other people's opinions so much not to be rude, I don't care about your opinion. Because <laughs> half of my steps of faith in which God wants me to do, I would not do if I listened to so many people's opinions. So I'm just trying to teach this to people because it's a freedom of the mind. 
It's a freedom of mind. It's a freedom of mentally being able to free yourself from other people's opinions, other people's wants for you. It's freedom. It's freedom. Um, so I'm just trying to help you free your mind this morning. Or this, this morning. Because <laughs> it's morning right here. You may see this video at nighttime, but yeah. Um, free yourself from that, you know? And it's hard, you know? Even if it's your parents, uh, because those are the people who God wanted me to be away from when he was telling me he wanted to give me a child. And I should have listened years ago, you know why? Because back then I wasn't sick and I could have probably had a baby and been pregnant and done the whole pregnancy thing and all that without getting sick and dying. Yeah. But I didn't listen to God. And now my body is sick and I won't be able to do what it was that I wanted to do at that time. I mean, now you guys know I don't want kids anymore um, because, honey, I want to travel. I can't travel with no children. Um, but, you know, back then, yeah, that, that's that's what I wanted to do. But I was too busy listening to everybody else. What everybody else wanted instead of what I wanted, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, free your mind today. And, um, I love you guys. I'm on my way to work. Um, even though I don't look like I'm on my way to work, I look like I'm on the way to the gym. Um, but, uh, I love you guys until we meet again. God bless. Free your mind today. And, you know, I love you guys, you know. And, you know, you're more than welcome to have your opinion. And people are more than welcome to have their opinion, but just because they have their opinion, their opinion doesn't mean you need to listen to their opinion all the time. Sometimes people's opinions are, are good to listen to, but we live in a world where people will literally sway you from everything you do. Like, I have this one person in my life, and in every male that I try to get with, they have their opinion of, no, you shouldn't get with them. Every single male every single male and it's so funny to me and they don't know that they do it but they do it and it's hilarious <laughs> but if I listen to their opinion trust me I'd be alone and single for the rest of my life because they have an opinion that every single male that I deal with has an issue of course they do every male every female everybody in this world has an issue problem or struggle even the person that they're with has an issue problem or struggle you feel what I'm saying? So, it, but it's so funny. But people will have their opinions. It's 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 what they do, you know. Um, it's what they do. Uh, so you can't always tell everything to everybody or listen to everybody's opinions because if not, you know, you'll end up never like me. If I listen to them constantly, I'll be alone for the rest of my life. You know, right now I really don't care about a relationship. But if I do listen to them, trust me, I'll be alone for the rest of my life. And. Um, probably not a bad thing <laughs> but I digress um, but I love you guys until we meet again God bless peace